Super Smash Bros. Ultimate lags so bad thanks to Nintendo's online service that it's created an entirely new meta, one that most Smash players and pros aren't too fond of. But now there are reports that Nintendo might be getting a new online system. Will that be enough to revive competitive Smash in the online tourney era? What's going on everyone? I'm Tia and here's some hot news. Did you know that Nintendo's current online multiplayer system is 20 years old? Nintendo has been using this technology licensed and renamed Next since the Wii U and 3DS days. In case you can't grasp just how old that is, So yeah, it's been a while. The tech was created by Quasel and was once known as Rendezvous. Ubisoft bought them in 2010 and Nintendo licensed and renamed it Next soon after. Now all of Nintendo's games rely on Next for their online functionality. Now it looks like Nintendo is trying to make a major change. There are reports that Nintendo is shifting from Next, a 20 year old system, to something called NPLN. The first title to use it is Monster Hunter Rise. NPLN is in the preview phase for the time being, according to Nintendo leakers. The Monster Hunter demo was a chance for Nintendo to see how it performed. The shift to NPLN most likely won't provide better internet service right away or anytime soon, but you know, it's a start. Because for the longest time, it seemed that Nintendo didn't care one bit about online play, even when it came to competitive titles. Well, titles that became competitive against Nintendo's will. I really do wish if anyone from Nintendo corporate is watching this right now, even if it's just Ultimate, support the Ultimate scene, support the Smash scene in general. You have people day in and day out streaming, making content, competing, going to tournaments, and we do it all grassroots. I need to say I love you guys, but you are the only one not putting in resources into the scene. Mm. Look at Capcom mm. Cup, look at that celebration, look at every other game, look at Fortnite. This is the step that you're missing, and if you did that, the culture and the appreciation that you guys would receive would be bar none unlike anything you've received. The Smash community has consistently felt that Nintendo has not only been ignoring the eSports side of their titles like Melee and Ultimate, but destroying it on purpose. When the Big House Online was shut down in 2020, it became clear that Nintendo was opening fire on competitive Smash. Nintendo has now gone out of their way to remove the only chance that Melee had to remain a competitive game during a pandemic. Basically, Nintendo, as always, trying to cause even more issues for Smash. We are forced to comply with the order and cancel the Big House Online for both Melee and Ultimate. Some more awful news about what Nintendo has been doing to the Smash scene. They're shutting down online tournaments. What is the actual point of doing this? What is to be gained? Right now, the competitive Smash scene fears that the eSport will never grow as Nintendo continues to offer no support, and it might even die if Nintendo openly tries to destroy it. Throughout Smash's history, tournament organizers and other entities attempted to work with Nintendo only to be shut down. This includes ESL, which Nintendo ignored completely, and MLG, which was met with a monstrous licensing fee. Nintendo's lack of support and continued attempts to destroy pros from making any money from competition have also led top pros from losing sponsors from tier one teams. It's not seen as a profitable career. It was public knowledge that Hungrybox, Melee's number one god, had a full-time job while competing in Smash. The news of a new online multiplayer system excited the Smash community for a few short hours after it was announced, but soon after the chaos died down almost completely. It's clear that it won't be enough to improve Ultimate's net play, and that even if it did, the competitive scene wouldn't benefit from it. And it's not only the Smash scene that heard the news, got excited, and then rolled their eyes soon after. Did you know that Splatoon 2 has an unused function that lets you check to see if it's running on Windows 98? But what do you think? Are you interested in Nintendo's decision to finally upgrade their online play? Do you think it will do enough? Will it benefit the Smash or Splatoon scene in any way? While cries of free melee have died down, the Smash scene has never forgotten Nintendo's destruction of their online tournaments in 2020. We will see what 2021 has in store, but we fear it won't be any better. Once again, I'm Tia, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.